Hello everyone and welcome to this pure stretch video. We're going to be running for about an hour and we're going to stretch a little bit of everything. So as always, just make sure that you're working within your own comfortable range of movement. Make sure that you're, you're not putting your body in a position that it doesn't want to be in. So let's get started. We're going to make sure that those feet are about hip distance apart here, nice and soft through those knees. And we're going to lengthen up through the spine, rolling the shoulders back and down. We're pulling up gently through the pelvic floor and we're scooping the navel gently in towards the spine here. So let's start with a shoulder roll forwards. So we're starting to just loosen off the body here with that shoulder roll. Try and keep the shoulders quite nice and relaxed. So you're going to avoid pulling them, wrenching them up to the shoulders like this. Just a nice smooth movement as we circle through the shoulders. And then we're going to take the shoulders round the other way. So this time opening up through the chest, squeezing the shoulders back together here. Good. One more here. Shoulders come back and down. So now we're going to take a nice breath in, opening up through the chest. And as we close, we exhale here. So we are inhaling to open, and we are exhaling to close. Have a look at the way I'm moving through my body here, opening up and squeezing, and then scooping that rib cage in, curling through the upper spine. So starting to think about a little bit of movement here through the spine as we open and we close. Thinking about that breath here, taking a nice breath in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Good. One more here. the hands to prayer, tuck those thumbs in to the breastbone here, roll the shoulders back and down, again nice and long through the spine, outside with the nature, squeezing those shoulders together, we take a nice breath in, exhale we rotate to the right, inhale we rotate to the left, and again exhale to the right, and inhale to the left. So you'll notice that what I'm trying to do here is keep my knees soft and my hips forward facing. So what you're trying to avoid is reaching round here as far as you can and twisting through the knees and the hips. You want to keep that rotation nice and smooth as we work through the spine. So if you can feel your knees twisting, you're moving your hips, so just be aware of that. Our gaze is straight ahead, so we're not dropping the chin down to the chest, and we're not looking upwards, we're just looking straight ahead. So we're keeping the neck in a nice line here with the rest of the spine as we rotate. Again, shoulders nice and soft, squeezing them back together. So we're trying not to wrench those shoulders up to the ears here. Let's have one more here to each side. Then we come back to centre and we bring the arms down to the side of the body. We take a nice deep breath in, exhale, swoop the arm overhead and slide the fingers down towards the knees. Take a breath in and again, exhale, into that side bend. Good. We're going to keep repeating that movement as we sweep down to one side and then the other. Don't rush this one. Take some time to let those fingers go as close to the knee as you can here. Good. So, when we go for a side bend, we're thinking about starting to move through the spine with that side bend movement here. 
you'll notice the side of the body and the waist area stretching. And again, the closer you can slide those fingers down towards the knees, the more you'll start to feel this movement. Think about how you're breathing here. So making sure that the breath is nice and evenly matched. And what I'm doing is I'm exhaling as I'm sending the fingers down towards the knees. So I'm trying to get the most out of the stretch here that I possibly can. Good, we've got one more here to each side. we release. Good. I'm taking those feet just a little bit wider than my hips this time. Rolling the shoulders back, lifting up through the spine. I'm coming down into a squat, pushing down through the heels as I come up. Exhale into your squat and inhale to lift. A couple of things to note with your squat. What I'm trying to do here is keep my spine nice and long. So I'm going to gently tuck my tailbone under. So it's not a, as deep a squat as I could go. I'm just starting to think about warming up here through the legs, through the hips and through the knees. Again, pushing down through the heels as you come up. Again, think about that breath. Letting the breath and the body movement flow nicely together. Think about pulling up gently through the pelvic floor and scooping that navel in towards the back of the spine. So we're thinking about keeping the center area of the body nicely protected here as we work. And when you feel comfortable here, if you'd like to sink a little deeper into squat, then you can. But again, you're still thinking about tucking that tailbone under, keeping that spine nice and long. And I'm also trying here to keep my shoulders back and down, and I'm lengthening from my shoulders to my fingertips. So you can see that my arms are nice and long here, long and strong with those arms. Two more here. And that last one. Good. I'm stepping those feet out to a wide 10 to 2 position. So you're going to turn those toes here, soften the knees, hands on hips. Lift up long through the spine and we start to gently glide from side to side. So starting to think here about getting a little deeper into those hips, into those knees as well, warming those up, and into the legs. So just starting to increase our range of movement a little bit here. And again, a reminder, you're working where you're comfortable within your own range of movement here. I'm not here to see you today, so just make sure that you are working safely. Keep that spine nice and lifted, Try not to tilt forwards or backwards as we move. Good. I'm keeping both of my knees nice and soft here, so I'm not locking out at any time. I've got a nice smooth, flowing movement as I glide from side to side. have four, three, two and one. Coming back to centre, I'm keeping those legs wide but I'm going to turn the toes so they're forward facing. 
Hands on hips here, soft through the knees and folding forward. Option one, you're going to rest those elbows onto the thighs and you're going to push your bottom up towards the ceiling. Option two, coming down to the floor, hands under shoulders. And here, I'm going to heel toe each foot a little bit further away from the body. That is optional, up to you. I'm pushing my bottom up to the ceiling. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk the hands forwards, hold and push down through the heels, and then I'm walking the hands back. And again, I'm pushing down through those heels. So you can see that as I walk forwards and backwards, I'm thinking about really stretching out and lengthening here through those legs. You're walking for about four steps forwards and then backwards with those hands. You'll be noticing by now that we're creating a nice bit of length through those legs. That's what we're looking for here, a bit of activation through the legs. Good, keep walking. We're going to do this a couple more times. Last one here, walking forwards, walking backwards, hands under shoulders. I'm going to sink my upper body down. So I'm lengthening through the legs. I'm pushing my bottom up to the ceiling. Oh, my hamstrings are tight. I've got a little bit of a shake on there. Nice and soft through the shoulders. Then I'm going to start to lift my upper body and I'm going to carefully walk those feet back in so they come under my hips. And then I am going to lengthen through the spine here. Coming up. There you are. Okay turning to one side here on the mat. Right foot is going back. I'm pushing down through the right heel. So when you can feel that you're starting to get that activation in the calf, the lower part of the leg here, I'm going to start to soften this left knee a little bit more and I'm going to ever so gently lean. Now be careful here with this one. Calves can be tricky. So make sure that you're not overstretching here what you should be able to feel is that you're lengthening out through that calf, bottom part of the leg. So some people like to really sink this forward. It's very much a personal preference. It's where you can feel that activation into the calf. We're going to lift that right heel and slide that right foot back to join the left. Then we're changing sides. So the left foot comes back. We're pushing down through that heel. And again, when you can feel that, you're in the right position, it's comfortable. Softening the right knee, and we start to come forward again. Feel that stretch through the calf. This feels good today. Good. Nice breath in. Bring it up. Lovely. So from here, I'm coming into a roll down. I'm going to step it back. So again, feet still under hips, knees nice and soft, roll down. Before we get into roll down, just make sure that you work comfortably. We're dealing with the spines. You know I like to keep an eye on these things when I'm looking around. So just be careful. You do not have to go all the way to the floor. So lengthen through the spine, shoulders back and down. Again, Gently pulling up and scooping in here. Take a breath. Exhale, chin to chest. Shoulders lead, let those arms become heavy. Lift that rib cage up and away from the pelvis. You are unstacking your spinal column bit by bit, taking it down as far as you're happy to go. Then you're taking a breath in. Exhale. Start to restack the spine bit by bit. You are layering back up like building blocks. 
we roll the shoulders back and down and we repeat chin to chest and we begin to roll down quite often this is the point where i'd be walking around and just making sure that everybody's rolling down safely and smoothly what you're thinking about here is that nice flowing movement so you want to create a flow with your body movement now we've done two so hopefully on that third one spine is starting to loosen up nicely and this is starting to feel like a really nice stretch through the spine you'll also notice that stretch into those legs a little wobble in those legs nothing to worry about a little bit of tightness in those hamstrings Remember your breathing here. Remember that we are gently pulling up through the pelvic floor and scooping in through the navel. That is going to protect your lower spine, thinking about that center area of the body. So when I want you to be particularly careful is when you start to come up away from the floor. That's when you are thinking, right, I'm gonna pull up and I'm gonna scoop in I'm going to protect my lower spine. We've got a couple more. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the floor. Don't force it, but if you can get there, see if you can just get another inch or so out of that lovely roll down, stretching through the spine. Let's have one more. Now this one is going to take us to the floor to an all fours position. Good. So I'm going to walk that away, however works for you. And I'm coming to my knees and this is my all fours position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. So I'd like you to notice before we do anything else, uh, just think about how your back is feeling here should feel quite nice and soft, neutral spine position in your comfortable position. From here, we take it into cat stretch. So we drop the chin to the chest, we tuck the tailbone under, we arch the back like a cat. Take a breath here. Then as we exhale, we push the tummy towards the mat, glide the shoulders down to the waist, and you've got that hollow in the lower spine. And we're going to keep repeating that little sequence of cat-cow stretches. So this is where we start to think about, again, working within a comfortable range of movement. As most of you know, I do suffer with my lower back. So this isn't my strongest area. I know plenty of people who can do this with a greater range of movement than me. But this is what works for me. This is as far as I can comfortably go and I'm not gonna force my body to go beyond that. So make sure you're doing the same. This should feel nice. This should feel like a nice, gentle movement as we work through the spine. And again, think about that flow of your breath and your body movement as we work through our cat-cow stretches. with me here we've got a couple more let's have that last one here and we come back to that comfortable position from here we're going to start to open out through those hips so we're going to open out on the right side and we're going to open out on the left side. Keep going, I'm gonna turn here. So, what I'd like you to think about with this one is that you're not leaning over to one side. It's elegant, doesn't it, that one? We're going to keep it 
nice and controlled. So as I lift my leg, I'm going to try and keep my other side as stable as possible. So just starting to think here about getting a little more deeply into those hips as we open and we close. What I'm also doing here is I'm lifting my chest up away from my hands. I'm squeezing my shoulders gently back together so I can start to feel a bit of activation through the shoulders and my upper body here. opening up those hips. Focus on that breath. So we're just starting to get a little bit deeper into those hips here. Before we get into a sequence that happens a bit later on where we're working a little more deeply through those hips. So this is a nice little warm-up for the hips. As you know I'm very keen on working through hips. Powerhouse of the body keeps us going. Let's have one more here. And then what I'm going to do is bring my feet together, take my knees wide, and I'm going to walk my hands a little bit further away from my shoulders. So from here, this is our shell stretch and we're going to rock. I'm going to rock my bottom back to my feet. I'm going to rock my shoulders over my hands. So this nice rocking movement here it's a really nice tool that we use in stretching for just loosening off through the body. And you'll notice as you push back towards the bottom that you start to open out those hips a little bit more, start to feel that stretch in the inner thighs. We're also lengthening through the spine ever so gently here as we rock back and forth. Let's come back to thinking about that breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth, create a flow here. Good, keep going. We have four, three, two, one, we're sinking back. Options, keeping the arms long here. Dropping the elbows under the shoulders here. And your third option is to take those arms wide and drop the head down towards the mat. This is a lovely, lovely stretch. I can feel this in my inner thighs. I can feel that my hips are nicely open. I can also feel that my chest is nicely open and I've got a really nice stretch into my lower spine. You'll notice that I have a block. When don't I have a block on my person? So, if you want to pop the block under your head here, under your cheek, you can to make it more comfortable. Doesn't have to be a block. I appreciate that not everyone has these floating around. Um, a rolled up towel will do quite nicely, or a cushion. So we're going to stay here just a little bit longer. And I'd like you to again focus on your breath and allow your bottom to just sink back gently towards those feet. Good. Let's have one more nice deep inhale and an exhale. Good. When you're ready, hands under shoulders. Let's push up carefully. I don't need that for now. Popping it to one side. 
and turning over to sit on my bottom. Okay, so from here, feet to floor. So I've got a nice little bend in the knee here with the knees pointing up towards the ceiling. I've sent those feet a little bit away from the body here. And I'm nice and lifted up through the spine, nice and long. Again, I'm going to gently pull up through the pelvic floor, scoop that navel in towards the spine. I'm going to extend those arms, taking them out in front of me, long and strong here from shoulders to fingertips. Take a breath in. Exhale, I'm going to come into my ballerina, sending the arm behind me, opening up the chest, finding that little pivot, bit of rotation here through the spine. Again, think about your breath. Exhale, inhale. If you want to work a little more deeply through those abdominals, then you send your ballerina back a little bit more, sweeping towards the floor. Get a nice rhythm going with this one as we open out. Again, make sure that you're working within your comfortable range of movement. You're going to keep hearing me say it because I can't see you. You might just be sat on the sofa with a glass of wine, watching this and having a good laugh. I hope not. Good. Let's have one more to each side here. Lovely. Lengthen those legs. Bring the feet together. Nice and lifted through the spine. Now again, when we've got nice long legs like this, tight hips, tight hamstrings, this can be a little bit uncomfortable. So your block, your cushion, your rolled up towel, pop it underneath your bottom here if you want to. That gives you that bit of height. We take a nice deep breath in, drop the shoulders, exhale. We dive towards those feet and we repeat that dive. So my feet are nice and soft here. I can feel as I dive forwards that I'm getting back into those hamstrings. As I lengthen the arms towards the ceiling, I can, or ceiling sky, I suppose it would be in this scenario, I can feel that I'm really lengthening here through the spine. I've got all that lovely postural activation as I lift up and lengthen and that dive forward. I'm trying to keep my rib cage lifted up away from the pelvis here as I dive. Again, think about your breath. Inhale, exhale. Let's have two more. One more on the dive. We take it to a swim. I'm going to flex the feet. I'm going to swim down to opposite feet here with my hands. Sending the other arm behind me, looking over that shoulder. So I've got that flex in my feet. What I can feel now are my calves starting to lengthen, starting to stretch. I've got that nice movement where I'm moving here from the hips. So again, getting back into the hips, shoulders and arms. My arms are nice and long here as I'm working into that, uh, into that swim. Good, okay, so we've got four more. Stay with me, and three, and two, and we're gonna hold, so options here is an option if you can reach that foot. If you can't reach that foot, 
I've got a resistance band today. You can use a strap, you can use a dressing gown cord, you can use a belt, anything. I'm wrapping that around my foot. I'm flexing the foot. I'm just going to hold it here. It's a nice alternative. Take that if you need it. If you can quite happily reach that foot, then we go for the reach. Hand to floor or open up, it's entirely up to you. Not staying here for too long. So we're going to swim again, flexing those feet. Good. We have four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Again, you know what to do. You can use anything that you've got to make that work for you. Hand, I don't mind, whatever's comfortable. Adding a little rotation here as we hold our swim. Good. Let's release it. I can see you again. Okay. I'm coming to the centre of my mat here. It's a good opportunity to have a little drink if you'd like to have a little drink. <coughs> my mum's put some plants out. Bless them. Those smell lovely as well, those hyacinths. Right, okay, so let's move on to our next section. What I'd like you to do is keep the right leg nice and long, bring that left foot in towards the thigh, knee, whatever works for you. I'm lifting up long through the spine here. And I'm starting with a simple bounce. I'm just bouncing. And what I'm doing here with that bounce is I'm just getting back into that hip. I'm just reminding it that it's there and that we're going to work through it. So just a couple more bounces here. Good. Then I'm going to bring that knee in. And as I bring it in, I'm lacing the fingers, I'm drawing the leg in towards me. Seated nice and tall. So you've got that lovely long spine, shoulders back and down. I'm going to tap over and back. So this is going to take me into a little spinal rotation here. All the birds are out today, can you hear them? There is a cockerel in the garden, we'll wait for him. Good. So we have four, three, two, one, and hold. Okay. So you've brought your right foot to the outside of your left leg. You're going to wrap your left arm around, sorry, your right arm around that left knee, and you're going to take that left arm behind you. Seated tall, drawing the knee in towards the body, looking over that shoulder. So from side on, what you are aiming for here is this position. Squeezing the shoulders together, drawing the knee in. When I do that, I can feel this down the outside of my leg and into my glutes and hamstring. But that's because I'm a little tight there. And as you know, wherever it's tight, it's always going to present itself to you. Stay here a little bit longer. From here, keep those legs exactly where they are. Bring those arms over to the right side, hands under shoulders. I'm dropping my knees down towards the floor and I'm lifting up nice and long through the spine here. So you will feel this in the right side of that waist as you sit up nice and tall. So again, what I'm doing here is just gently squeezing the shoulders back together. This really feels, you can really feel this quite deeply into the back, as well as down that right side of the body here. Good. Okay, I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to pick up that left foot, and I'm going to take this into a quad swing here. So, gently. Now you have options. 
If you're not keen on that swing, what you can do is take the leg behind and just hold it here, just leaning back, holding here. Or if you're happy to continue, we continue to work into the quad. So hip flexor down into the quad, that's what we're starting to think about now. Good. So when we go for this hold, reminder, what we don't want is tension around the knee. We want to make sure we can feel this more into the front of the hip and the quad, so that's the front of the thigh, than you can in the knee. So we don't want to create any kind of niggles for that knee, keep it nice and soft. We're going to plant that knee and we're drawing the heel up towards the bottom. Now you can stay here or you can drop down to that elbow if you want to, whatever's comfortable. I find that by dropping down to that elbow, it gives me a deeper stretch down into the front of that hip and into the quad. It's entirely up to you. My knee's nice and soft. This is my problematic knee as well. It's not giving me any problems. I can feel that stretch into the quad. Good, focus on that breath again. Take a few nice breaths here for yourself. that left leg. Keep that right leg bent in front of you. Lengthen that leg. Hands under shoulders, square off. We're lifting those hips up here. Hands under shoulders and I'm going to lengthen that leg away from my body. So I've got a nice long left leg here and I'm lifting up through.